This is another counter from a hip toss. Uh, previously we did what was called the Slater pin. This is a similar variation, but I'm gonna turn it into a seat belt pin, which is probably one of the tightest uh, pinning combinations that I've seen in pro wrestling. So when my opponent goes for the hip toss, I wanna put the brakes on with my inside arm. My other arm is gonna swim through inside of the knee. Now by rolling to my back, that will bring them to their back. I need to make sure I'm nice and tight because the next part's the most important. With the Slater pin, normally I would put my head on the mat, I would bridge my legs over. This time, I'm gonna put my head on the mat but I'm gonna roll forward and I'm gonna use this arm which is still hooked to pull his body through. So it should look something like this. By pulling the arm through, I'm now putting his arm around my waist like a seatbelt, hence the name. Now this is one of the most important steps because if you get this part wrong, you're gonna struggle on the execution. You can either go underhook, or what I prefer to do to get a tighter grip is to overhook the arm and bring it behind the back like a hammerlock. Now I'm in position, all I have to do is walk my feet around and almost turn to my stomach. I also wanna make sure that their head is facing my legs. This will make it easier for me to turn their body. So I'm gonna walk myself through. They're already in the pin, so I can either stay in a pancake position or I often like to sit myself out so that I can grab the leg. If you want to see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button, spread the word, and if you have any questions or requests for World Beater Wrestling, don't be afraid to comment below.